What's going on guys? My name is Noah. Today I want to talk about obsessive thinking, rumination, race brain, spinning, anxiety, and everything that comes with looping thoughts, feelings, and ideas over and over again with no sense of completion, no sense of, of resolution, and, and just the torture that can come with that. It's something that has been mm, a pretty consistent and plaguing, I don't think it's a word, but it has plagued me, the cycle of rumination, pure obsession, OCD, stuff like that. And I'm working with someone right now who is really struggling with that. It's a very common, common thing to struggle with. A deep, deep inner connection to your every thought, wanting to find meaning behind it, wanting to understand why you're thinking and feeling a certain way, wishing you weren't thinking or feeling certain things, judging yourself, punishing yourself. And, and it is maddening, you guys. It is absolutely maddening to be in that space I've had obsessive cycles and ruminations hold on to me for months and months and months to where every waking moment of every single day, uh, I was stuck in the same loop. And something I used to do is uh, uh, just feel this dire need to one, seek validation, reassurance, and, and guidance from everyone and anyone. And two, I would research my my issues, I would research my thoughts, I'd research whatever I was cycling on, ruminating on, freaking out about, for lack of better words, to no end uh, on Google, for example. I just had to know if it was normal, I had to know if, if I was going crazy, I had to know if I was, I don't know, I had to know. I'm just obsessed. So, I want to share with you guys the biggest key to getting me free is of obsessive thinking and rumination. The single greatest, most relieving thing that ever happened to me that changed everything. It's an absolute game changer. And it's simple and I want you to take it to heart because it's powerful. And this is someone who's done this for years and years and I, I oh, trust me, if anyone knows the, the insidious nature of obsessive loops and ruminations, it is moi, okay? It's made me want to kill myself, quite frankly, because you just need to stop. The moment I fully, here it is, the moment I fully internalized and completely accepted and believed that I could not control what I was thinking at all, zero control over my thoughts, that it was completely random and had no reflection on me did not define me. They were just thoughts. It never was as bad. To the point that all of these things I was trying not to think suddenly just fizzled off in the background because I realized with all certainty there wasn't any of my business what I was thinking. It's my business what I do, my reactions, but I can't control my thoughts. I can't control my thinking. I can't control my feelings. They just are. They just are. And when I took that power away from them, when I fully, 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 and completely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, internalized the fact that they're separate from me, they're just random, and they have nothing to do with me, I stopped, I stopped taking it personal. I stopped caring. And eventually, I stopped ruminating and obsessing. After, after sometimes month long or more bouts with severe obsession, I just, it just became easier. And same goes with feelings. The moment I stopped putting judgment and requirements and expectations on my feelings and on my thoughts, it was easier just to let them go. I am responsible for my actions, absolutely. My actions define me far more than my thoughts. And this sounds so simple. And it's a mindfulness thing. And, and it took me forever to click with this because I had people try to bring this up to me and bring this to my attention. Um, and I just couldn't buy into it. It just seemed too hokey, too simple, too woo-woo. But that's it, guys. That's it. It's right there. The secret to your freedom from your rumination, or at least one of the big secrets to your freedom, your rumination, your loops, your cycles, your pure obsession, is that you can't control your thoughts so there's no reason to care what you're thinking. No reason at all. Now, see, the tricky thing about rumination, the tricky thing about pure OOCD, anxiety, is we think things and feel things that cause us to question who we are. And that's the magic in the torture. Your brain wants to scare you into thinking that your reality is obscured or that you aren't who you really think you are. It wants you to question things. And so these, we, we latch on to terrible thoughts sometimes 
some of my pure OCD thoughts could be like driving down the road and suddenly I imagine myself turning the wheel really hard and killing someone, hitting someone with my car. I used to have those thoughts once in a while and then I would stress and punish myself and ruminate and freak out for weeks. Why did I think that? What's wrong with me? I'm going crazy. Only a psychopath would do that. No, that's just a random thought in my head, literally designed and propped up by the way my brain works to scare me, freak me out, and cause me pain. Now, when I have those thoughts, I just laugh. I just laugh because it has nothing to do with me. It's not based in my reality. It's just my anxiety and my pure OCD trying to scare me. It's not real. And, and educating myself helped. Verifying that this is a real thing, this mindfulness thing and how this works. And, and the way pure O works and rumination works. It's a trick. It's a fucking trick. It's not real. It doesn't mean you have to like how you feel. It doesn't mean you have to sign on to what you're thinking. But you certainly can remove yourself from it. You've got no choice. You've got no control. It just is. The moment you really soak that in, guys, it just is. So you can go about your day. Go about your life. Think whatever you think. They're just thoughts. You can't control them. So for sure. It's like watching people walk through a park and sitting on a bench eating some popcorn. There they are. Huh. Well, there they go. It's got nothing to do with me. It's got nothing to do with you. This is the single greatest key to letting go and moving past this. Now, do you sometimes do it wrong? Do I sometimes still have minor relapses and obsessive thinking? Yeah, earlier in the summer, this past late June, I got stuck in a two-week cycle of pure OCD. But I knew what was happening and I worked through it pretty carefully. It was the shortest bout of obsession and rumination I've ever had. But am I constantly uh, berated and taken, taken hostage by these things anymore? No, almost never. Because I know what's going on and I'm, I don't fight it. I accept it. It's okay. It's com completely okay. So I hope that helps. I hope you know that this is one of the most important topics ever for me is the topic of rumination, obsession, paranoia, spinning, racing, spinning, racing, poor sleep, poor thoughts, stress, 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 anxiety, anxiety, depression, depression. It's a loop. Just remember, next time you have a shitty thought or a shitty feeling, don't be like, mm, I wish I wasn't thinking this. Mm, I wish I didn't feel this way. Let go of expectations. Separate yourself from it. Just be like, oh, there it is. It's got nothing to do with me nothing you are not your thoughts they just are and since well, here's the magic since you cannot control them you cannot control your thoughts they're going to happen no matter what the more you try to control the worse it will be so since you can't control them i can't wipe my hands because my hands holding the phone but wipe your hands of it you're done you're free you're good and move on the less you fight it the less often they happen the easier it gets Work on this, practice this, learn about mindfulness, read up on pure OCD, educate yourself, and don't feed into it. For me, not feeding into it was not researching. Don't ask for validation every, everywhere you turn, maybe here and there with confidence, but in general, no amount of research was ever gonna satisfy these obsessive thoughts. It was just an endless loop, and it's how I fed them. I empowered them. That's my message for today. I hope it offers you some relief. And that information was finally, when I finally soaked that into my core, it offered me so much relief. And I'm grateful, so, so very grateful every day that pure obsession, massive rumination, all these things aren't a crippling normal part of my day. We've got a lot to work on. We've got a lot to deal with in life, a lot to think about. And this is one thing you could do without. It could help you. It could free up some time and space for you to work on becoming the you you really want to be. And it's not perfect, like I said, but you can practice this mindfulness. Just tell yourself, this isn't real. These thoughts have nothing to do with me. My name is Noah. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Thank you for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Can't wait to hear or read your comments below. What do you guys think about this topic? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What are some other things you can offer? I'd love to learn. I appreciate you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.